سيد ديفيد بيكر المدير التنفيذي والمؤسس في مركز الابتكار والبحوث الانتخابية أهلا بك نريد أن نعرف منك العوامل التي تؤثر في التصويت للعملية الانتخابية الأمريكية كل أربع سنوات هل تتغير وما هي العوامل التي ستؤثر في العملية الانتخابية الحالية؟ Most importantly, I don't know and almost nobody else knows. There's a lot of issues in the world. There's issues related to the American economy. There's issues related to abortion in the United States. There's issues related to border security. There's also international issues related to the Middle East and Ukraine and China and Taiwan and other places. The American voter is very complex, as voters are around the world, and they can be affected by a variety of different things. It is virtually impossible to predict how certain issues are going to play with the American electorate, um, especially this far out from the election. So I, I will, that's why we hold elections. We want to see how voters feel in a snapshot moment in time, how they feel on election day and who they prefer to vote for. Okay. كيف يمكن تجنب أي عملية تزوير في العملية الانتخابية خصوصا بعد الاتهامات التي أطلقها الرئيس دونالد ترامب في العملية السابقة؟ So American elections are very, very secure with minimal fraud that almost always gets caught. And despite the lies being told about the 2020 election, the 2020 election was very secure and I expect the 2024 election will be as well. One of the main reasons for that is we have a very decentralized system of elections in the United States. It is very hard to go and change the outcome of an election in one place. There are 10,000 different elections in 10,000 different counties that are happening in the United States. Mm -hmm. And it is a very secure system with paper ballots and audits and recounts to ensure that the vote that's cast on election day is counted accurately. Everyone around the world and everyone in America should know that when we determine who wins the election, that that, ac that result is accurate. No. هل تخشون من تكرار سيناريو السادس من يناير مرة مرة أخرى في هذه الانتخابات؟ I mean, we have to be vigilant against possible political violence by supporters of the losing candidate, whoever that is. Um, we have more protections in place in 2024 than we did in 2020. Um, I'm optimistic that we'll be able to demonstrate that the results of the election were accurate, and whoever accurately won that election will be declared the winner by Congress on January 6th and take the oath of office on January 20th. Yeah. Uh, تدخل المحكمة الاتحادية العليا للحسم في نتائج العملية الانتخابية هل تتوقعون أن يتكرر نفس السيناريو للرئيس بوش الأب بين دونالد ترامب والرئيس جو بايدن في حال uh, ترشحهما في هذه الانتخابات؟ I mean, the Supreme Court could end up ruling in an important way around this election, but the result would have to be very, very narrow. In 2000, when George W. Bush beat Al Gore, the margin was 537 votes in one state. In 2020, in comparison, it was several states, all of which were decided by more than 10,000 votes. So if the margins were as they were in 2020, I think we'll have a clear result and the Supreme Court won't need to weigh in. It's only in that very, very rare instance where you have one state that decides the results and the mar margins are very, very narrow, well under 1,000, could the Supreme Court likely step in. سؤال أخير العملية الانتخابية غالبا محصورة بين الديمقراطيين والجمهوريين أين المستقلين من السباق الرئاسي ولماذا حتى الآن لم يظهر أي حزب جديد يدعم ليفض النزاع ما بين الحزبين الكبيرين حتى الآن Well we have a two party system and it's a winner take all system generally it's not a parliamentary system and so we have a tradition of two parties Democrats and Republicans who have the vast majority of the vote. We have seen minor party candidates run for president in the past. We have seen that happen uh, around 50 years ago uh, with parties representing the Deep South. In 1992, we saw a minor party candidate run and get a significant amount of the vote. We've seen more recently candidates get a small percentage of the vote. But given that we have a winner-take-all system, a lot of voters who might prefer a third party but worry that one of the two major candidates might get elected, don't want to see that person get elected and will make sure they vote for the person they prefer a little more, even if he's not perfect. And um, so I, I think our tradition of two parties is likely here for a while. I don't think it's likely we're going to see minor parties. That could change, but certainly not in time for the 2024 election.